What if, what if I took them all? What price would you do on them all? If you, if you just took them all? You do 30 pair if I took the lot. So it's another Sunday. It's another sunny car boot sale. We've got a new mic and new camera, so hopefully mm -hmm. the quality's a little bit better and hopefully the pickups match it. Definitely, looks busy, doesn't it? Yeah, we're quite far back in the queue, so mm -hmm. let's get straight into it. How much is your Monopoly, mate? How much is your Monopoly? Do a couple quid? Yeah, yeah, of course. Take that one, please. What's the uh, Funko Pop, do you know? Uh, it's Anna from Frozen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Can I just have a look at your trainers, please? Thanks. Cheers, dude. Have a look on the table. The real, do you know? Are they two pound a box? Are they real? Uh, go on, yeah, I just don't know if they're real or not. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure it out. It's hard these days, isn't it? What do you reckon? It's hard to turn like you said, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because I've... The fakes are so good now, aren't they? Dear? Yeah, the sticker's a bit... I've never seen a sticker like that ever as well. It's hard to turn on the boxes as well, mate, and it's... Um... How much would you have to, sorry? 30. 30. Would you take 20 on them? 25. I just don't know if they're real. That's the only thing getting them. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. If you don't want them, you don't want them. No, I'll leave them. I'll leave them. Thanks, guys. How much is your shark? Um, Dan Shark. Pound. Pound? Yeah, I'll take that one, please. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm waiting for the trainers, if possible. <laughs> I'm not going to rush you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you all right. I know Chris from Hayton. Oh, cool. What, uh, Chris Hayden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's had, he's, you know, both videos with his hip hops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that off you? my collection. Oh, mint, mint, mint. Might have a look at the cards. Yeah. Are these used, aren't they? Didn't you? Um, they were used for a, um, a catalogue photo shop. Yeah, mint. Photo shoot, and then given to a charity shop, which my mum helps out. Oh, cool. But she had loads of scumbags on Pash trying to rob them. Fucking And she's like 65 years old. Yeah. Shame. Yeah. Oh, why? It just. Let me get stuff out and then people can have a look. How much on your car hearts, mate? Uh, 25. 25? You 20 on? on. Get, I'll get a few pairs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll move out you a little bit. How much have you bought them on? What? Without even looking. I wouldn't even know a price on it. Nope. Okay, you got separate on everything. Just thought I'd ask. Oh, sorry, dude. Are these all similar colourway? How much on your SBs? I wanted 40 on them. What if I took them all? What price would you do on them all? If you, if you just took them all? Uh, you do how many pairs are there? Um, um, but he was doing 40 a pair, I was going to say how much you would do. If you do 30 a pair, I took the lot. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go cool. yeah. Deal. You better throw the book in? No. How much would the book? All the tenner on that. Tenner, All right, let me have a look. They're going 20 or 90. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a quick look. If not more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've, I think I've had this one before, to be fair. It's about 20, isn't it? I don't want the book for a tenner. It's 20 online if you want it. No. No? No worries. I'll put it on the top. <laughs> right, how much do I own you, man? Um, so you wanted 20 on them, and then 30 for all these. 360, 390. Let's see what I'll do. 400's a lot. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Can I bank transfer you? I don't have, I don't, cash, I don't have cash on me, but I can go and get you some in a bit. Yeah, I've, I've got cash, but yeah, keep them in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Four hundred cash, yeah. Yeah. Just so I know. Quid each or six for a fiver. Oh, look at the games as well. Cheers, mate. I'll bring you four hundred in a bit, yeah. Yeah. Where's the nearest cash machine? Is it services or something? Have a look. Have a look, sir. I'll lead the gamers to the games. Do you want me to put, move these for you? Are you alright? You are alright, yeah. Minute, right, I'll see you in an, an, an hour or two, yeah. Cheers, mate. Let's have a look at your Doc Martins, please. Thank you. <laughs> Just your Doc Martins, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Are they, were they your own, or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're brand new in the box. So. Oh, they are nice. But the boots are size three, and these ones are size six. Size three and size six. Cheers. How much have you got on them? Uh, 60 pounds each. 60 pounds each. They like proper real, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you 
Would you do 100 on the two pairs? Yeah. Sorry? Would you do 100 on the two pairs? Do 110. Do 105? Just to be yeah. cheeky? Yeah? Nice one. 100. I'm gonna get you a fiver. Thank you, I appreciate that. Right, just having a look in the box. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a Lego football set. Oh, I man. I think I used to have the same set as a kid, actually. Yeah. How much have you got on it? Um, so I've got the original pitch, and it's missing two players, and then that is just various other bits that came with it. It's not like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, how much How much for it? Oh, how much? Um, 15. 15? You take a tenner on it? Yeah, go on. Yeah? Awesome. Uh, thank you very much. Thank Cheers, you. dude. No worries, man. Take care. You too. Have a good day. You too. Let's have a look at your Wii, sorry. Yeah. Cheers, dude. <laughs> yeah, all right. You're using it as a finger. Is that right? <laughs> all right. You selling the games separately, or are you doing it all together? All right. No worries. No, it's all right. Uh, what games in that one? Let's have a look. Just yeah. I'm not sure. How much did he want for the lot? No worries, thank you. Nah. Ideal. Thank you. Do. You getting all the pots, dude? Yeah, I've got you more. Got yeah. <sighs> what have you got here? Here's a wall. Good score. Any, any more, mate, or are they just in that bag? Uh, yeah, just in this bag. Yeah, yeah, um, no, it's alright. Cheers, dude. Uh, I've got some here as well. How much on those four, mate? Those four? Uh, you a fiver? Four yeah, quid? go on. Oh, yeah. How much does that one be? Uh, with all that in there, uh, oh, do you 18? You did a fiver for them, mate. I just got a bit of Lego on top, so. Yeah, so uh, what, call it a 10? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine, yeah, oh, yeah, right. perfect. Right, yeah. You, you throw in the uh, zombie thing as well? Yeah. You're throwing that oh, yeah. as well? Thanks, mate. Yeah, go for a 10, yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. How much are you in your skills? Um, 10 pounds. Because they're brand new, they've not brand been new. ever used. You take eight for them? Yeah. Yeah? Fine. Thank you. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Just have a look at your Game Boy game, mate. Sorry. Cheers, dude. Is it just just the one? Yeah. That's nice. Cheers, mate. How much are you? How much? Uh, the specialised is a fiver. Yep. Uh, the other one, a couple of quid. The adult? Are the adults? Yeah, they're both for adults. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Both of those. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. I know specialised is a decent brand, so yeah, no, just, just going off that. The remote and the book. How much have you got on it? Um, ten quid. Ten quid. Let's have a quick one. Like you got the remote, did you say? Yeah. I'll have that for a tenner, yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks. The dog slippers. Ah, that's it. <laughs> are they are they working or not? Yeah. Yeah, they are. They, to be honest, I've got um, I've not used them for you. I sorted the batteries out the other day. They need a different like a top on them. Well, that is that is the clipper, but they need a different blade. That blade's rusty, so it's not. You could take, take the blade off. Yeah. You can yeah, so it. it's definitely working still. Yeah. yeah, definitely working. And that's just... Just the charger in the case. Yeah, so you've got the, the dog clippers there. You've got a spare battery as well. You've got two, another spare battery and another spare charger there. And oh, that's sorry, another, I don't like clip looks on it. And that's another um, thing to go on the, here, the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clipper head. Please. Super ADR Plus. Let's see if it's right. How much have you got on them? Uh, I'll do a fiver each. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for I'll go for them. Yeah. Okay. So quite a few people have had a look at them and thought, oh, what are these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone had to buy them. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Have you got ten pound? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Thank you very much. Just have a look at have a look at your guitars, mate. The uh, Guitar Heroes. Yeah, Cheers, dude. Is it, just, is it just the guitars you've got? Yeah. It is. Yeah, uh, yeah, so, um, 50p each. It were 50p each. No brain, mate. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, right. Retreat back to the car for a minute. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting some trainers off some guy, and he, he wants only cash, though, so I need to get cash. Yeah. No, sorry about that. You're not pulled out the box GameCube yet. Oh, mate, I literally. I know, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. I missed out. Nah, but GameCube's my game. Like, I love the GameCube, yeah. so that's the one. That's the one. Oh, sorry, then, mate. Cheers. Is that a 
full set in there, do you know? Uh, I think yes, one is just broken. One broken? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, leave it. How much is your trespass gear, mate? How much is your trespass gear? You know, the coats and stuff. The coats are what we call three in one system. Ah, three in one, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? 25. Each, yeah? Yeah. Right, I'll have a think on it, I'll come back. What is it? Uh, the 98 in the shop. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Would you do 40 on the two? Oh. No. 45? Saves me a fiver. Alright. Yeah? Okay. I appreciate that. One of there, and then a fiver there. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers. How much is your backpack? £10. £10? Yeah. You can see it's never been used. Yeah. Would you take eight on it? No, because I've had quite a lot of interest. No, no. You can see it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm in a buying mood. <laughs> £10. Thank you very much. Lovely. Appreciate Thank that. You. You're buying off this stall again. I'm doing this stall that's got half a piece of stuff here today. Oh, <laughs> The rear when you at the other stalls, aren't they? A lot of the newer cars are all but this side show. How much is your Lego, mate? The uh, spaceship? Um, we say five. I would say it's cheap because is it complete? Yeah, it is complete, but it's slightly sun bleached on the top. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll leave that one, but I appreciate it. Yeah, no, no. Thank no. you. It's the only thing yeah, 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 sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 thanks. So we're back in the garden now. We couldn't get the mics working with the phone yet, so we'll try and figure that out during this week. And then hopefully next week we can both sound very crispy with our new microphone. We've got uh, the but camera. Yeah, we've got the camera working. Hopefully that was all good during the, uh, the new footage with the mic. Hopefully it sounded all right. Over the next few weeks, hopefully it'll just get better and better. Um, so yeah, this should be the worst. Bear it with would us. be. Yeah, bear with us a little bit. So yeah, we've spent about a grand between us. Uh, a bit of a mad day to be fair. We've got a big old horse, so we're just gonna smash right through it to be fair. It's we've a long be one, quick. so grab a drink. Yeah, grab a nice cuppa, or if it's hot like it is today. Get a nice cold iced tea. Oof, iced tea is not the one. I like iced tea. Yeah, it's tea. I like iced tea. We've got DiCaprio here with us today. So, um... A little vintage purchase. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Two uninteresting bits, a little sun hat. Brand wow. new, without tags. You took my breath away with that. I know, right? Um, How much you pay for that one? Pound. Pound. And a sanctuary set. Is that um, for you? For Granny's birthday next week. And how much would that sell for? If you used to sell it. Like a tenner? Yeah. Probably wouldn't sell this sort of thing. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah but how much was it? Up. A quid? Uh, yeah, a quid. So even then, do you know what I mean? It's, it's still a few um, quid. It's the hand wash and lotion, so they go next to each other by the sink, mm -hmm. which is nice. Oh, of course he's bringing these out. Oh, we've got to start with some bangers, haven't we? <clears throat> Not really, keep them coming and coming. So, I've seen these docks in someone's boot. You know, I didn't touch them, I just asked, oh, can I have a look at your docks? You know, people get a bit iffy about, I don't dig in boots, and, you know, Charlotte doesn't either. We might see something in a boot, no. and we'll say, oh, excuse me, can I just have a look at that? Uh, because if you don't, someone else will, and, yeah, then you snook it, aren't you? Because someone else has stole all your profits. Um, so, I've got two pair of docks. They wanted £60 a pair. These are UK3. They are beautiful. These are like a brown Chelsea boot. Yeah. Chelsea boot. It's Chelsea boot. Beautiful. Next pair were these, which are UK six. And um, yeah, they wanted £60 a pair. I got both pairs for 105 God, They came down a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I got 15 quid off, which is decent. £50 something pound each, isn't it? Yeah, £52.50 each. Uh, probably a double up on both of those. So nothing crazy, but nice little... Uh, Nice little purchase. There's a lady behind me like, Argh. Was she? Yeah. Was it but that's, that's normally me. Yeah, that's normally me behind them. You know what I mean? Missing out. So it was a um, good start to the I'm really day. Happy when we get it. Oh, so okay. they did actually initially have a little thing for the car boot that was going to sell them for 70. Um, she was wearing a pair of docks. That kind of gives me a vibe when it's a docker. You know, so that lady is a docker. Um, I asked Eddie Real. She was like, yeah, bought them both off the site. Um, so you yeah. just tell, she you? was a docker, yeah, and they, they are real. So don't tell me the fake, all right? Especially you TikTokers, eh? They're real. Um, real. Luckily, the size six ones aren't my style, else I would be doing. Yeah, yeah, they're not your style, and I was quite glad of that to be honest. John Luke very kindly got me a duck wicker egg holder. Paid fifty p for this, holder. and yeah, yeah, Charlotte sells these all day long. So I thought, you know what? I'll get that for my Charlotte. Thank you, my darling. Like, no, no, thanks. E easily pleased, aren't you? Yeah, 50p and 15 quid. Happy days. Happy days. Another one with Charlotte in mind. Hello, Seeing this at the end. 
Um, I paid a fiver for this kind of little picnic, picnic -y one. It's got two little hatches over there. Paid a fiver. Um, it was a really nice lady. I didn't even haggle to. I probably got it for could have got it for four. But when someone's giving off good vibes, um, you'll pay up. Paid a fiver, and she also thrown in a little Panasonic CD player thing. Like okay. a Discman. You got one of them the other day too, didn't yeah, you? So, yeah, yeah, this is a Panasonic one. She just said you can have it for free because she oh, doesn't know cool. if it works, so that was cool. Um, we might keep this for our little cute dates that we have, that we never have. Because <laughs> we're <always working. laughs> too busy. Um, if we don't keep it, I'm sure Charlotte will be able to sell it for like 30 quid or something. 30, 40. If it's going to go on eBay, probably do 40 to 50, like 44 99 Yeah. But on Facebook Marketplace, that would be like 30 quid. Yeah, for a quick and it's flip. nice and easy on Facebook, 30 quid. And we Bosh. did buy fresh bread. So John Luke was carrying his fresh bread. Yeah, we got some sourdough off the car, and we, oh, um, it we put it in the basket. If you go to Extra Race Calls, there was a woman there today. Selling their bread. Selling their fresh it's bread. So nice. Beautiful. Honestly, so nice. Best bread I've ever tasted. And that's not that's not a, even an exaggeration. No. Like it was real good. Like the crust and the holes in it, it's just. Oh. It was beaut. It was beaut. Uh, got this bag, brand new with tags. It is. I'm not even sure of the brand. You know, the little Switzerland logo brand. It's actually well, it's got Swiss gear on the back. That Steve makes sense. Greenwood special. That yeah, is. it reminds me of my dad. A little bit of my dad backpack. Um, I paid a tenner. It's got brand new tags with a forty pound um, sticker on there. Get 30 quid for it something like that decent pretty good brand to be fair seen it about a lot i picked up this urban outfitters beaded bag um retails for 30, 36 pounds and I paid 36 pounds like, i know urban outfits is nice i've got a few bits from there in the past yeah. but, but after being a reseller that. after being a reseller well, i've been a reseller for a long time but as being a reseller and it's, it's me, so especially. hard to like warrant paying 36 pounds for that in urban I outfits i wouldn't even do that when I was like five or six, I'd go, can we go to the sales section? Yeah. Um, I used to, I used to spend money like stupid in shops like that. And yeah. like looking back, it's just mad, isn't it? If it didn't have a red sticker on it, I wasn't interested. Hmm. You were a keeper. Oh, hey there, everybody. 50p, Ikea. <laughs> yeah, I spotted him and I went, Charlie, go and get him. 50p. Little uh, turtle. We'll be keeping him. Yep. Yeah. Brown little shoes, brown little Nike <laughs> shoes. I, you know what, when I seen these, I just thought James Collects specials, to be fair. Anyone know James Collects? You all know James Collects on YouTube. He's in love with brown leather shoes and brown leather jackets. Shame they're not his size. You can squeeze big toe in there. Yeah, but little Nikes. I think they were like three quid or something, four quid. I just thought they're just weird looking Nikes, brown leather. Thought, why not? I don't even know what they're for. It's some kind of indoor exercise. Are they thing. like bowling shoes? So, something's something going like on that, there. Something's going on there. The UK, UK 5. Might even treat my mum to them. Who knows? Imagine how I'm not a very soft dress. <laughs> Picked up a couple of these trespass coats. Brand new with tags. Uh, they are a maker men's jacket. It's like a three-piece jacket. So like really thick, wintry ones. Uh, the guy wanted £25 each on them. Um, offered him, what did he offer him? 40 40. And then I, he took 45. So I saved myself a fiver. Yeah, so it's like a three in one coat. They retail about 90 quid. Uh, so I paid, what, £22.50? Should get about 60 quid, like winter time. I knew we taggies. Uh, and I got two of those. Nice. So, yeah, there's your tags. I picked up a pretty much brand new electric blanket. It's a double. Um, paid £4 because here's the time you need to be buying all your little bits for winter. Because you're going to give it to your granny. My granny, yeah. she puts it on the sofa so she hasn't got to turn on the heating. Yeah. Hard times. Um, one of my first clothing pickups is this Joe Brown tartan dress. I paid a pound. It's alright, isn't it? Which is nice. Easy it 20, is 25 quid. 12. Easy 25 quid. Yeah, that. really nice. Um, Joe Brown's this sort of pattern and that abstract florals do really good. So yeah. I was happy with that. Nice little belt on there, a little buckle. So, my very first pick of the day, I saw this from a distance and hot footed it with my trolley. Jules? They're both size 7. Sorry, it's an ant on her. So, yeah, Jules boots, brand new in the box. These are Westbourne Tan. Ankle boots. They retail for 120 each. Yeah. Gorgeous leather boots with the tags. Are they 120? Yeah. Uh, well, this is cut off. Right. It's in the other ones. Yeah. So, a, kind of a classic style. But my mum's a size 7, so... Am I going to get away with it? And those ones, they're a 6. Beautiful. But they're a 7 as well. Yep. So these got a little uh, leopard cheetah print thing on the back. These were 120 brand new. And you, what did you pay? 35 a pair? Yeah. She paid 70 quid for the two. Um, very good. She wanted um, six, 
50 each originally. Yeah, so you save yourself 30 quid there. Yeah. You did really well. Yeah. To be fair, like you paid 70 quid for the two pairs, you'll make that back in one pair. Definitely. Plus then some. Yeah, and then you, I mean with like fees and stuff, yeah. you'll make, definitely make it back with one pair. The other pair is like pure profit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've got quite a lot. And that's being conservative. I'm on part of quite a lot of Jules and Bowden groups on Facebook, so they often not go on there. And yeah. That's obviously zero fees apart from PayPal. Mm hmm. So I do try and sell on there before eBay. And as I was getting my cash out, this man ran across and grabbed them, and the woman went, That little girl's bought them. Unlucky, sir. Oh. It happens to us all, though, don't it? We always miss yeah. out on stuff. Right, so on to my big purchase of the day. You would have seen there was a load of trainers that I kind of just went on a whim. Like, I didn't really look at them too far. I was just like, boom, yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's actually a contact to Carboot Chris. He got the Funko Pops off him a week or two ago. So it's good to meet you, Dave. Uh, I've got his number. Oh, he's got mine. So hopefully I'll be able to do some deals in the future. Uh, these, nice, I think he wanted 40 to £45 pound a pair mm -hmm. uh, on their own. I end up getting 13 pairs, I think, for 30 quid a piece. Um, a lot of these... Oh, they scream beefy. Do they actually? <laughs> Beefy's a dad. Um, my dad always, when we come home, goes, nothing for me again, because he doesn't like cook or do any sort of like hobby things. So I may have to buy a pair for John for him. Right, so there's a few pairs like that. Little lobe top blazers. Uh, it's a little bit of a con it's a little bit of a collaboration. GT Grant Taylor. So I'm not oh, sure. Grant I'm not, Taylor, I've, he's a, like a men's. Yeah, but I've not even searched these up to be fair. I think there's like three or four pairs of them. Well, they're not going to fit me. There's vans. No, there's lots of 8s and 9s. There's, there's different sizes. So, the, yeah, so these are... There's some 8s, some 9s, some 10s. Uh, and this is the other style, which nice. is uh, low top again. Um, I think I've got, like, 7, 8 pairs of them in different sizes. 8s, 9s, 10s. So, yeah, £30 a pair. I was very happy with that. It's not, like, crazy, crazy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sell them for £200 a pair. But, you know, after fees and stuff, still be a nice double up. So, uh, and, yeah, some good stuff for the store. Mm-hmm. Ooh. There's a pair of vans in there as well, they've been lightly worn. Pretty cool. Did they give you them for 30? Yeah, just kind of base base price, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I paid 400 for the lot, so. Um, it worked out maybe a bit less than £30 a pair. Cool. I ended up saving like 20 quid. So. But these are the bangers Carhartt Converse. You've got like cons, see it? Carhartt. And... Anyway, they're my size, UK 10. So they're going to be keepers. They've been lightly worn in a photo shoot, he said. He said they were worn in a Converse or a Carhartt photo shoot, and then they've not been sold. So they're um, so yeah, obviously when they get used, they can't be sold anyway. So, they're... so yeah, they're gonna be mine. I was actually in the Carhartt shop in Manchester in the Northern Quarter, and they had the the high top versions of these, oh. and uh, they're just pricey as hell, aren't they? So I didn't buy them, but I got my own little pair now, which is cool. I remember we was looking in the window at them, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, I like the model as well. Work in progress. So we are at we are a work in progress, aren't we? And the finished piece. Oh yeah, you perfect. So yeah, buzzing with those. Like they they make it for me anyway. They're worth a four hundred quid. Four hundred quid boom. <laughs> Didn't buy them new in the northern quarter, but the four hundred quid. No, but you think I sell a good few pair of them and they're free for me. You know what I mean? Paid oh. sorry, how thirsty. Um <laughs> I paid a pound fifty for this fat face dress. It's in really nice condition. It is a UK ten, but again, on my little groups and parts. Nice little denim one. Yeah. How much you pay? One pound fifty. Yeah. I mean, at least 15 quid, you know what I mean? Yeah, easily 15 quid without fees. Yeah. I bought a load off this one lady. I pretty much cleared most of our store, didn't I? Mm. She let me have these for £2. They are brand new. New look. Size 7 wedges. healed espadal widgets. Widgets? Wedges. Widges. Size 7, so they're maybe for my mum, but if not, I'd hope to get about 15 quid. For I did actually speak to her later on when we weren't together and she was asking, like, oh, do we buy and sell? I said, yeah, we do a bit of buy and sell and I said that a bit of collecting too. and stuff. Uh, and she she just said, oh yeah, I'm just selling, we're just selling clear yeah. So it was nice, she said, um, I said, are you going to get a holiday with, you know, with the money? So. And she said, yeah, paid by your girlfriend. But yeah, she was really nice. Big shout out to Chris, who I met. Um, he was actually at Bolton Car Boot Sale last week. He was at X to Race Course this week. He drove from Portsmouth. So yeah, shout out to you, mate. Hope you met Stacey as well, because he wanted to meet Stacey. Yeah. So um, yeah, shout out to you. Cool. It was really nice. Uh, so from that lady, I got a whistle size 12 top. Um, it's a bit ugly, that. Well, to you it may be. No, no, I, I just, I, in my eyes it's a bit yeah. ugly. Like, obviously whistles, it'll sell well. Yeah. But it's just a bit, yeah. So here's a brand new two-piece. Came to like £50 altogether brand new. Size 12 or 14, I paid £5 for those. That's that. I know they like it when I do this. Modelled by you perfectly. 
she also um, was clearing out her attic, so she's got a lot of stuff from the 90s and 2000s. That's real nice, I like that. So I got this um, Nikki Valenti. Valenti, which is um, a UK 12 and it's linen. And 100% it's all, linen. And it's all the way to the floor. 100% linen. All with little um, embroidered polka dots. So little bit, bits of cotton across, it's real nice. I probably hoped near yeah, you, 50 do, for that. Yeah, do some research 50. on the brand, but um, but, but it's it actually is, real nice. It is brand new with tags oh, that's back T in the day. That's an, that's an old, <laughs> that's an old TK Maxx label, that label. label. It, 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 what does it say? Slightly ditty. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> ditty. No, no, it's not, it's not. But um, that's, um, yeah. that's an old label, that. that's like early 2000s, that's yeah, cool. So that's a real beautiful. nice dress. Fully lined. Also from her. I got a brand new coast ball gown. It was £175. I paid £5. Yeah, yeah. So size 12. These ball gowns always sell well if you put like bridesmaid in the title, prom. Just gonna do it for the guys. You want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Before Charlotte shows her next lovely piece of clothing, remember guys, every Wednesday now we are live on Garbage Live, me and Ricky. So, if you've not seen it already, go on the channel, go on the live streams. Every week, we're on my channel, and then the week after, we're on Ricky's channel. So, yeah, get involved with that. There's lots of fun stuff, giveaways, auctions, and just general reselling charts. So, get involved on those. 8pm every Wednesday. I just thought I'd throw it in there during the video. My very important but this is beautiful. It is an old yourself. label Laura Ashley skirt with some beautiful roses on. Beautiful. Again, £5. Nice. Um, next up, just sold one of the, like this simile. It's recently which is similar like very shimmery satin. it is a satin um ombre mm. midi dress very nice and it is um made in the usa she said she got most of her clothes out in the usa um onyx it's called onyx night, onyx just, night. i just bought it because of the style it's very 90s 2000s mm. i just um got, spotted a little mark on this ted baker but it's brand new with tags ted baker size 16 that was two, that red stuff there all oh, right so that was two pounds so hopefully and maybe I'll yeah, that see what we can do with that. Of two quid, brand new Ted Baker. So all of them were off the same lady, mm -hmm. and you've got a bit more of her as well. Loads more. So yeah, yeah you just um, cleaned her out today. Did well because I didn't find any clothes to be fair today. Oh, and just um, you know you got me the trousers. Oh, you got the, you got the normal one now. She let me have it. Oh, amazing. Got the we got the pair now. We got an IKEA shark. Yeah. One pound fifty p. Small. Couple of bike helmets. Uh, there's a specialised one which I know is a decent brand, so I just thought yeah, decent. And then there's a brand new with tags. X Blue Sky, which I think is a bit of a cheaper brand. I think I paid six or seven quid for the two. Not done any research on those, but um, we shall see. Just trying to delve into some different stuff. I've got some brand new boots, fat face boots. So these are like a, well, like a so soft, soft leather suede kind of boot. Uh, they're brand new from Fat Face. They were originally £99, Lola suede western boots. Um, I think I paid £8 for those. Got it down from a tenner to eight pounds. So. It's a good time to get those uploaded because of the Harry Styles and Beyonce tour. Mm. A lot of people are wearing that with like kind of like dresses. boots and little cowboy stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you need to put like festival concert in the title. Yeah. Western. They're nice those. Eight pounds, decent. Even to get like 50, 60 pound, I'll be very, very happy with those. You can get forty at seven quid. Oh, I don't want to set my standards and that low. I'm just saying. Oh, no, I'm joking. Joking. Yeah, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight. To whatever we get, we'll be happy. Andy's company is a dog shaving company. Um, so I've got some dog shavers, and we're gonna it's full of hair. gonna clean it up. It looks like a decent brand. It's a little bit old the kit, so I'm not sure how it holds up in today's standards. But um, when I searched the when I searched the brand, there was some real good money in it. Um, I bought two of them for a fiver each. She used to well, be a dog groomer, so it's like pro proper professional kit, do you know what I mean? And, um, she said she's shaved a lot of dogs with these. And um, if they don't sell, we can use them from you on you on the waist below. I was thinking about yours, to be fair. About You're a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beautifully clean shaven. This <laughs> Just imagine this on crack. So yeah, five reach on those, see how we get on. <laughs> Next up, I got a... 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 Next up, I got this Technics SLPG 340A. I know you know what that is. What's Compact that? disc player. I wanted to do it fast on purpose. I mean, it's, that's my ADHD coming out. Yeah, I was going to say, it was super. Um, yeah, it's decent condition. With the remote. 
It's like 40, 50 quid online. Paid a tenner or eight quid. Watch all your old fashioned tapes from that, can't you? Out on the guide. It's a DVD player, it is. It's not a tape player. Any Call of Duty fans will know this. Call of Duty Zombies. Look at that. PhD flopper, stamina up, quick revive, juggernaut, speed cola, double tap. You know what that may be good for? So these are all perks that you'd use in Call of Duty Zombies. But that may be good on your auction. Yeah, that may, might be fun actually, yeah. So little bits like this. If you want to get that, make sure you join Wednesday for the Garage Live where um, John does a few yeah, auctions. We're doing some fun auctions. Anyway, I got that with the cable. I think you put it into a PC, it's kind of like a little tabletop one. Game USB. Love that. Got a few Funko Pops. I'm not sure what some of these are off. They're like 2016, 2015. So the some, of, some, of them really might, yeah, some of them might be decent. I missed out on quite a lot of them, but we got a few as well, so I don't mind. I know that's Arrow, Green Arrow, whatever. See, so I got them four Pops. Yeah. I got the Juggernaut, Call of Duty Light, and then I got a bit of Lego as well. I think it cost about a tenner. No, a tenner for the lot. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just telling lies now. I got a little 20 years Lego Star Wars minifigure. Uh, what's like a Rebel Pilot? Another car and then a couple more midi figures, about a tenner. Tenner for the lot, so all that Lego, Funko Pops and the like. So I was happy with that. So John's done a runner to get us a drink. Um, I'm continuing. So from that same lady I spent all my money with, I got this polo. Um, mm, polo jeans. Polo jeans co, Ralph Lauren. It is a black velvet tassel skirt. Proper old school 90s, 2000. Again, a fiver. This is what first caught my eye at her stall. So this is from the brand Ice. Never heard of it before. It's a hundred percent silk, and it is all oh, individual roses on it. Proper nineties, early two thousands. It's a size ten, so I may even try on for our holidays to Dubai. But good, good money to be had in that. Beautiful. Which is another nineties to two thousands embroidered dress. All the beads are there, she's kept really good care of everything. A little Rhode Island bikini for me. Some of the only beauty bits I picked up. Gunny and sheet mask for me or for my ongoing partner. Relationship figures. partner, maybe for me. And their little body shop mango hand cream and lip butter, 50p. I paid £5 for this suede um, H&M size 14 jacket. jacket. Has 49.99 on the... Yeah, it was retail at 49.99. It got reduced to 15, like everyone could see that, but you can just peel that off and yeah. get 30 quid for it, 25 quid. For a fiver? Yeah, it's a nice jacket. Really nice. Like a baby blue, like a very pale blue grey. Wrong time of year, but she let me have this for a fiver too. It's in the Peruna. Um, brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. 100 pound coat. Yeah. Size 14 again. Blue with some really nice tortoise buttons. That was a fiver. Surprising how much Peruna sells for. Peruna, you can get some real good money really from that. Really good money. Mm. I've got a used dress at the moment with watches on at thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I paid you get like... some real good stuff. Well, I've seen that when we um, when we bought the ladies trainers, Lorna. She she had some really good stuff mm -hmm. like from Peruna, which is real expensive. So I did pay ten pound for this Ted Baker, but it is a maxi leopard um, print dress. Mm. It Satin, is, real nice. It is brand new with the tags, two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Size two, which is about a size ten, I think. Yeah, Ted Baker are real funny with the sizes, um, aren't they? But yeah, for ten pound, I thought no brainer. That's nice. For two hundred pound dress, a little mint velvet cami. She let me have that for two pound, about twenty pound. It all. Was this all her stuff? Because yeah. to tell you what, she had some real good stuff, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Real well dressed. And the nice. last three things I bought from her, which ends my part of the haul. Um, first up is this. Bed sheet. <laughs> it is Laura Ashley, they're 100% silk and it is a gypsy tiered skirt. That's real nice, I like that. So, got that in blue. Got it in pink as well. And single pink, they're 100% silk. So, this gypsy. Oh, that one's got a mark on. I know. But, we talked about that, but I'll but get that out. You get that out. We're like Kim and Aggie in the week. When we're not on video, we're like Kim and Aggie screwing away. Screwing away. Another good one that's like um, Peruna, phase 8, can really hold its value really well. This was £85 in the shop originally, mm -hmm. size 14, and it is that really in style of the crochet dress. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. I think I paid four for that. Like bodycon, yeah. so it'd be like st yeah. stuck to you a little bit. It's nice. And it's got an underlay like figure. as well. Yeah. So £4 for that. And that concludes... Oh, sorry. Oh, she's back again. This one was £5 too. Mint, Mint velvet, velvet, brand, brand new, new with tags. tags. £89, size 14, and it is another... Like crochet over the top beautiful. dress. You have a bikini underneath, really. Isn't it you? beautiful? It's nice. So You're I did doing really, really well for yourself, really well, though. Really yeah. well. Um, 
I think I spent hundreds in with her, but you know, a few hundred. Yeah, a couple time. of the dresses pays that back. Yeah. So Charlotte did say I could have a couple of those dresses. So um, which ones do you think I should pick, guys? Now I've seen this haul. <laughs> right, last couple of bits from me anyway. Uh, and then we could all finish our drinks and get back to work. <laughs> get listed. Get list. Do something with your life, hey, watching us too. <laughs> anyway, the last couple of bits that I got, the Call of Duty stuff, uh, the Funko Pops. I was at his stall earlier when he was just opening. And um, obviously I didn't see the rest of that. I should have asked really, because I would have been I would have been on all of that. Anyway, if anyone has this sort of stuff, you know to ask. For yeah, I should have asked. I got some Lego football stuff from the early 2000s. So there's a couple of coaches there, absolutely full of minifigures as well. So I think there's about 15 minifigures in here. That's like the England bus and the Switzerland <laughs> bus. Um, it's from real early 2000s. So you've got Zidane on there. Lego.com forward slash football. And it's got. 2000 so yeah 2000 i had this same set as um, a little boy um this set here which is the big pitch so i got the big pitch with all the players on there it's a couple of sealed minifigures in there as well which is real cool and yeah should have fun building this up and i'll sell it all in a big bundle so i'll have the trucks which were obviously a separate set at the time i'll sell the trucks with uh with the full pitch hopefully you said he was missing one or two of the footballers but it shouldn't be too much of a problem he wanted 15, I just said 10 straight away, and he was more than happy with that. So I've got £10 for all of that, which is amazing. Amazing. Um, I think someone's selling like the full pitch set in the box for like 100 quid pre owned. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see. It might take a bit of time, an hour or two in the day, one day to um, build it up. But you actually said we were talking this morning about how you miss having the space to build stuff, do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. It's got loads of little stickers there and stuff. So you could, on the buses, you can change what team's in there. <laughs> Um, it was real um, ahead of its time, to be fair, for 2000. Yeah. They've never done anything like it since, apart from apart from they did a Lego minifigure collection, um, which was the German national team. And not a bad box of Ted after. She is not listening. She's not Sorry, baby, I'm not in her season. She does not care. Anyway, yeah, big Thomas box as well, which can go to Teddy. So we've got Walking Dare, that's one to five graphic novels. Nice. They had to get like 20 quid for those. We shoot 11s in there randomly as well. Get eight quid for that or something. And then we got book 11 and 12, which is kind of like a compendium. So they have like three uh, issues or three trade paperbacks inside each one of those. So, so I ran to get these because I told John about the other stuff. The woman said 15 to me, and then I went to her husband, please can you take 10? And he went, yeah. And yeah. she went, <laughs> But I said to Shah, try and get them for 10. Mission accomplished. Bosh. Um, I've pretty much got all of these up until like issue 20 odd at home so the only ones i'm looking for are like 20 and above and then oh good old swindon and then the final little pickup which was the uh final pickup was my first pickup of the day it was swindon monopoly these kind of town monopolies you get like 20 quid them I'm, oh, i've lost it me Last pickup, yeah, yeah, I'll do it again. Last pickup was this Swindon edition Monopoly. Like these town ones, you usually get about 20 quid for. Like there might be a few towns that are worth more or less. Mm -hmm. Paid two quid for it, so can't really go wrong with that. I'm, I'm constantly finding like Exeter and Cornwall ones, so it was nice to find Sometimes somewhere different. We're lucky. Mm, yeah, so Swindon this time. Right, we've been waffling for ages, so yeah, we'll let you go. We'll let you go. If you did enjoy the video, hit like, leave a subscribe if you are new, leave a nice comment. Um, yeah. And I want to know your favourite find, as always. Yeah, let you know. What was your favourite find from Charlotte? What was your favourite find from me? What was your favourite find of mine? Um, well, what, one of the clothes, probably. I really liked... Um, I like those gypsy skirts, to be fair. My favourite of yours was... The Converse. Carhartt Converse? Probably the Docs. The Docs. Like I said, if you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. There's loads of stuff down in the description. So both of our eBay stores, Instagram pages, Facebook group, loads of little bits and bobs to get you involved in down there We've got my gusto link which is five meals for 10 pounds which is great Something we like use that, gusto yeah. weekly you know so get involved get a nice five meals for 10 pounds down one there thing to think about. yeah anyway we'll love you and leave you and we'll see you in the next one peace thanks a lot jim